Warmer weather is welcome, but be careful what you wish for. Well, the rain beats the snow, but when it comes on top of the snow, that can create some serious problems. Local 12's Joe Webb's been looking into this and joins us live from Coryville with what he found. Joe. Well, Kit, you know, the rain will do a good job of washing all the salt off the streets and the sidewalks, but while it's cleaning up some of this winter residue outside, it may be doing some damage inside. Those icicles hanging from your gutters are beautiful, but are hiding an ugly secret. It's a hidden danger that's been building as the sun and the heat leaked from your roof melts some snow, and as it's supposed to, it drains into your gutters. But then when it's too cold outside, it quits doing what it's supposed to do. We have gutters that are full of ice. You can tell by the icicles hanging down off the gutters, and uh, more than likely the downspout is plugged up. Um, a lot of times if you want to go outside just to see if your gutters and downspouts are full of ice, uh, sometimes you can just push on the downspout. And if you hear that, you know they're plugged up full of ice. And the rain has nowhere to go but under your shingles and into your house or over the top of the gutters and around your foundation. Dan Reckelhoff of Mr. Handyman is in Milford repairing a door today, but knows later in the week he's likely to see the work of those frozen gutters. You're going to have houses that the water is just going to seep down, get in the basements. You have to make sure your sump pumps are working properly. Have somebody come out and check them. Not every home has a sump pump, and not every sump pump, even if it's working, is immune to what the winter of 2014 has dished out. If they have sump pumps that are coming out of the house and going down into the ground, uh, that line's going to be frozen. A lot of times they'll be cracked, busted apart. Uh, you want to make sure that those are clear. If they're not clear, have that line pulled off. Preventive maintenance is the name of the game, but unless you have de-icing cables in your gutters, and few non-Canadians do, winters like this will give you gutters like this. And rain will have you praying for snow. If you have an ice damming problem now, it's probably going to get worse. And if you live in a neighborhood like I do where your gutters drain into pipes that go through the yard and empty out onto the street, you need to make sure that you clear out those pipes where they come into the street and they're not blocked by the snow that's plowed up. It was in my neighborhood. My, one of my neighbors pointed it out to me and I was able to shovel mine out. I don't know if the water is flowing yet. I'm anxious to get home and find out. Reporting live, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. Kit? You've made me a little anxious too, jo Joe. I got to go check that out. But short of getting on the roof with a bucket of hot water and trying to thaw that stuff, there's not much we can do about our gutters, right? There isn't a great deal that you can do, and the last thing that you want to do is to put yourself at risk by trying to clear those gutters. But if you've got some really low gutters, like some that are right next to a deck, you know, where you can actually get in and get the ice out of them, that's not a bad idea. But if you have to get on a ladder or whatever in this weather, it's not a good idea. Thanks for pointing that out. Hey, if you have damage from the ice and rain, the good news is some homeowners policies will consider it storm damage. Check it out.